Hi, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today, we have a jam-packed vlog. We have stuff going on from like 30 minutes from now all the way to the evening. So I'm super excited to bring you guys along with us. Right now, we just need to wake up baby boy and get him ready for vision therapy with early intervention. She is gonna be here in 30 minutes. So we gotta get going. Next, we are gonna just hopefully have baby boy settle down, then buckle him into his car seat. And then we're gonna jet off in the car to Gibsonia, Pennsylvania for his DMI with sensory links. Then come back and we have a few hours to just relax and calm down. Then we're gonna have baby boy get ready to head to the Pennsylvania Blind School because there is a little play group going on and I'm super excited to take him there with me and all the teachers and whoever is hosting that. This is the second time we're going there and last time I felt like he really enjoyed himself. So I hope we have a great experience there. So let me go get him and then we can officially start our day with baby boy. Let's go. I can't believe he's gonna be one so soon. Yeah, buddy, you're gonna be one. You're gonna be a big boy. Okay, I'm sorry. I understand he's gonna be one on April 30th, but scratch that. He ain't gonna be a toddler until July 3rd, okay? Like point blank period. I don't care what anyone tells me. Yeah, he's a preemie. He ain't gonna be one maturely until july and he's gonna be my baby boy forever <laughs> it's pretty oh now you like it with your hands good job boom, look boom, at you boom, buddy boom, boom, boom. watching that dinosaur hop on you yeah i saw you following it here's another one boom 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 go on your knees good job so therapy went amazing and honestly I was so in shock about how good his right side reacted with ice cold water. Right now I'm trying to feed him, change him because he got wet during vision therapy. Like what? And I got to pump and then I got to eat and then we got to hit the road in 40 minutes. So let's see how this goes. But th this is the life of a mama of Wasu. So let's do this. I am starving. I pumped, just added some lipstick because I just want to look a little more put together. But I'm going to make um, sandwiches super fast. One for me, one for my husband. He's currently watching Rosso upstairs. Just make sure he's sleeping and not rolling off the bed. So my mom actually found this like, like in high school or something. It's whatever. It's not focusing. But basically it is from Trader Joe's. It's the wine country chicken salad. And it's with white chicken meat sweetened dried cranberries and pecans. So good. I'm going to smack this into some bread and then voila, it'll be done. Super fast, super simple. All I got to do is warm up the bread, toast the bread and smack the salad inside the middle. So even if I can't finish it before I hit the road, it's not that hard to eat on the road. So let's do this. While the bread is toasting in the air fryer, I just want to show you the two shoes that my mom bought Basu. One is from Adidas and one is from Stride Right. So Stride Right, they both are black because I, I don't know, I'm a stickler for his outfits to match his shoes. Black goes with everything. So the Stride Right ones look like this. We just got them off Amazon. So I don't know, I just wanna make sure we got the right ones that we do like so it's an easy return to it, do the other but it's super cute. And then the other one we got from Adidas is this. Okay, like this literally looks like a shoe that I would wear if it was big. I love this one. I really hope his DMI says this one is better because it's so cute. But these are the two side by side. Which ones do you guys like better? Comment them below. Adidas or Stride Light? Which one looks better and which ones do you recommend for babies? But these are the shoes. I want to make sure I'm not burning the toast. So let's go find out how good the sandwich is and also which one his DMI therapist prefers. 
we are kind of running late so i'm gonna be eating in the car but let's go to gibsonia my husband is absolutely amazing he's about to run up the stairs any minute now he just buckled baby boy into his car seat so he is back there and we are ready to go let's go to dima i hope bubba's doing okay back here because the mirror we have is not going too well but he's doing great right bubba you ready you ready, my little superhero? My little incredible little man? You ready, buddy? Let's go. Let's go. Can I get a smile? Let's go. Hi, buddy. Can we go down and stand up so that mom can show us? Look at you, Papa. Stand up all by yourself. <laughs> Look at you standing, you buddy. Wow. So Good job, buddy. So <laughs> I think you just did a sidestep. Whoa. <laughs> you got to move your feet, too. There we go. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh. <Whoa. laughs> Tired. DMI went absolutely amazing. We we're about to just head home and she said I can choose either shoe. One is easier to put on, but one is of course more stylish. So pros and cons of each. I can either keep both, return one, we'll see what we go with. But oh my goodness, he did such a good job that he went into the play gym and we got into like the boat swing. He loved it. He was practicing the stand. My little boy is growing and he's doing so well. And she could actually tell that we have been practicing the sitting DMI with him. And I learned something else that I'm super excited to show my husband when I get home, but also you guys. Oh my goodness. I thought DMI was like specifically only for therapists, but I guess like they will teach us moms, us dads, us whoever is taking your child to DMI we will make it there and that is amazing i'm so so excited i'm pumped because this journey is just beginning he's about to move miracles and mountains and you guys don't want to miss a thing so smash that subscribe button i promise you miracles are going to unfold on this channel everything is going to work out according to his plan hey i need that bottle i know don't leave on the door oh okay Thank you. Love you. Love you. Bye, buddy. Have fun at your play date. Bye, dude. Bye, babe. We are off once again to the Pennsylvania School of the Blind. So I am super excited. This is the second time we're going to be at this play date. I, I don't know. Last time I had really mixed feelings just because then it kind of just seemed like there was more medically complex children and Vasu was like kind of the odd black sheep out black goat out if you know what I mean which is amazing for me but it's also really sad but I also feel like if I go to a normal playgroup mom mode it's also like Vasu is the black goat out the black sheep out because it's like this weird in-between thing with Vasu and I'm super proud of him he is moving mountains and hitting miracles he's hitting miracles left and right and so i don't know how this is gonna be but i'm just excited to just go out there meet new moms have you know we can relate to the struggles you know so i'm excited um it's gonna be the first time i'm going here without my husband so let's hope this goes well baby boy is doing absolutely amazing back there he is playing with his little turtle adorable as ever Okay guys, we just got back and I just wanted to say we enjoyed it this time. We actually did. And I want to also say that I am so sorry. I did not record anything at the blind school just because there was actually a lot more kiddos and there wasn't so much just Vasu alone doing something like last time. So of course, because of privacy of other children, I did not do that. But Vasu did bring some stuff home. He got a little pinwheel with Jayhawk colors and I made him a little sensory shaker with Chiefs colors. So brand to our house. Let's go Jayhawk. Let's go Chiefs. Okay. 
And then I brought home some cookies for me and my husband. But before I do that and close off this vlog, I just want to remind you guys to be brave like Masu. We'll catch you next time.